Tyler Olivier. I'm a graduate student from the University of Louisiana Lafayette. We're here near uh, Vicksburg, Mississippi at about river mile 430. And we're um, surveying the population of river shrimp we have in the area. What's unique about these shrimp is that they're freshwater, they live and breed in freshwater, but the um, larvae must go down to the coastal waters of uh, the Mississippi River as well as the Chafalaya River. To the estuaries are actually out to the sea to develop. They need salt water to develop. Um, so we're actually looking at the migration that they make uh, between these upstream habitats and the Gulf of Mexico. Um, what, what else is unique about these, these animals is that they were once found as far up the Mississippi River as uh, places like Missouri, Illinois, Ohio. So they, they travel very extensive distance, distances in excess of about 2,000 kilometers um, along this journey. And it has to be made in both directions. Um, these populations have declined since about the 1940s the further you move up the Mississippi. So we're, we're looking at this, uh, this particular group to um, learn more about the life history to see how they're actually making this type of journey, how they're making this long distance journey within their lifetime, which is expected to be about one to two years. And then we also want to look at what's causing um, the reduction in the population in hopes of one day restoring the population to the northern distribution within the Mississippi River system, as well as having a way to know how to conserve our populations we have downstream. Because they're key to the ecosystem. Um, both, uh, well, one, economically, they were once harvested as a, a bait fishery and for human consumption. And two, um, as a eco, for the ecological aspect of them being contributing uh, a lot of energy transfer between freshwater and saltwater systems. And with the recent uh, Gulf uh, oil spill, we want to learn how this may uh, be affecting the population that we'll have, especially in the Mississippi in the future since that population has been on a decline. These shrimp release their larvae in the Gulf of Mexico where they undergo several molts and then they swim back upstream over a thousand miles in the Mississippi River. This is one of the largest transfers of energy from the Gulf of Mexico in the interior basin. And it's very poorly known. That's what we're trying to figure out. How long does it take? How long do these shrimp live? And as an aside, is it being affected by the oil spill? 